All right, let's get this going. Um, so now that I'm recording both voice and video on separate channels, um, I'm thinking maybe uh, I can come up with much better video quality and sound quality <coughs> without all the um, the loss in quality and sound that I get when I compress and all that stuff all at the same time. So um, the first thing I need to do is close this project. We'll open up this one and I'm just going to run through this all in one shot and hopefully the video and the sound I can put together and it will appear decent. Um, okay, the first thing that we have here is uh, the BMR AMR calculator program. Um, uh, it contains three functions, our main function, our female function, and our male function. Um, in the um, main function, um, basically what we're trying to get is the gender of um, the gender of the uh, of the user. And if we can get the gender of the user, uh, then we can um, then we can decide whether we're going to run the female function or the male function. So what we have here is we're telling the user to uh, enter one for male or one for female and two for male um, and um, and that's going to be entered in into that whether they enter one or two is going to be entered into the variable of gender um, and then um, it's going to run through a while loop if they enter anything other than one or two which is the same as saying if gender is less than or equal to zero or gender is greater than or equal to three. In other words, they can only select one or two, nothing higher than, higher than or equal to three, or nothing higher than or equal or lower than or equal to zero. Uh, it's going to, um, it's going to output this. Uh, uh, you know, I'm sorry, you entered a character more other than one or two. Please indicate if you are male or female by entering one for female and two for male. And then it says CN gender, uh, which means that that's what the user CN means that the user gets to do something to something, and then the thing that's being operated on is the the variable gender. So if gender is equal to one, it's going to run the female function. If it's equal to anything else, in other words, uh, if it's equal to two, because it can't be anything other than two because of the loop that we just put before this, it is going to be else. Uh, then it goes into the female function. It's going to get um, it's going to get the user's height. Um, prevent them from putting in what we don't want them to put in. It's going to get their weight and do the same thing with the while loop. It's going to get their age, and then here is the equation. The equation is um, BM double BMR. We're just declaring the variable there, but then BMR equals 655 plus 4.35 times weight, 4. Point plus 4.7 7 times height, minus 4.7 times age. That's the equation for females um, to get their BMR. Then we have their adjusted metabolic rate. We find that out by uh, using these um, these options here. Um, their activity level. And then uh, it's going to tell them their um, AMR and BMR based on their activity level, based on their selection. If the selection equals 3, if it equals 4, if it equals 5, it's going to do those different things. So let's see it run. <coughs> let's see. Um, so, uh, what is your gender? Uh, enter 1 for female and 2 for male. Um, this is basically uh, the introduction of the program above that. Uh, so we'll say two for male. Uh, what is your height in inches? I'm 68 inches tall. Uh, what is your weight in pounds? Um, we'll say 200 pounds. Um, how old are you? 28 years old. Okay, your basic metabolic rate is 1,985.2. That is roughly the amount of calories your body will burn in a day. Um, Please select your activity level. Sedentary, lightly active, moderately active, very active, or extremely active. We're going to go with 
moderately active. Uh, your basal metabolic rate is 1985.2, your adjusted metabolic rate is 3077.6. Hit enter to close this program, and that does it. Alrighty then.